Hey guys, what's up? This is Yogi with a new tutorial in AutoCAD. So guys, in this video, I will show you the Anovay tab in AutoCAD. So guys, what is an Anovay tab in AutoCAD? The Anovay tab is the most important and very useful tab in AutoCAD. You can find it on AutoCAD 2014, 15, 16, 17 or previous, uh, previous version of AutoCAD also. So firstly, what is what the commands have in the Anovay? So firstly, you can see there the multi-line text commands. So you can see the dimensions in will dimensions multi leaders tables wipe out revision cloud and add current scale so right, these are the many basic uh, commands in autocad in which the anover has been done so guys I, I will start with all the all the functions in a very short time okay guys please watch this video full and you find this video very useful so guys first of all let's start it first of all we use the multi line text so guys what is multi line text multi line text command is used to uh, insert text in your drawings or you can simply type M text so guys I will start my line text is my first corner and you can choose corner and you can find that um, the has been come and you can type there if you any one drawing that I went rhyme yogesh tutorials well guys I have typed this and you can simply this is very useful feature you can simply uh, change the styles uh, uh, you can choose innovate or ye, or ye, you can choose and you can choose only you can change sizes or anything I want to change size of this object to maybe 0.2 to my maybe 1.0 okay guys, you can see the you tutorial you can also bold it you can also underline it if you want you can make italic or anything you want in innovate tab mask you can also choose mask dragon mask give it red so it, it can be a red mask okay it is very useful in your drawings uh, to to justify or you can make presentation on your drawings okay so you can see that you can see there are many features you can apply on it you can find most useful is a very very simple feature guys you can simply use yourself and you will have to try it second one is second one is dimensions so i will already tell you dimension my previous videos you can also watch and i give also a link on the description so you can simply uh, take this and start your dimension or you can learn dimension from that video Okay guys Second one is you want to see the multi leaders uh, Multi leaders is very very important if you are drawing if you are want to justify your drawing Okay guys, I will simply take uh, I will simply make with the example I will simply take a rectangle Okay guys, I just do not make any dimensions I simply take a rectangle you I have made I use multi leaders but first of all, uh, you have to specify where you want to draw multi -layer. that one. I want that place. Choose a arrowhead, and you can see that. And you can type that corner. You could have corner one, and you can simply there the text has been occurred. You can simply change to uh, 1.0, and you can find that this is the corner one. Close text editor. You can find that this is the corner one, and you can use a multi -layer. There are many features in multi -layer. You can choose you can use standard. Uh, standard default text default text you can simply choose and you can find as default okay guys this is a in autocad is a only a new feature if you want to extend your extend your uh, m leader you can simply drag that you can drag that and you can drag that okay this is a new feature in autocad so you can simply use that secondly add leader if you want to add a, add a multi leader in your drawing you can simply click on that and you can find it you can add many many more leaders if you want I will take I will change the name to I will change the name to um, double click yes you can simply change name to by corner uh, corner corner one two and three oh yes this simply are uh, the simple command in uh, M leader you can you can use in very usefully and you can make any your specific drawing in your in your projects and make your corner and you can specify many important things in your drawings. Okay, guys, so you can see that the arrow. Third one is table. Firstly, guys, you can simply make a table in order. Okay, if you want how many you want, I want to, I want to, five columns and one row default and yeah, I am take and table. I will draw a table on there so you can guys. You can simply type anything you want in your drawing and simply you can make a table in AutoCAD. But I will suggest you to export it from the Excel file. So how to export in an Excel file? I will I will tell you in the next video tutorial. So it it make easy it make easy to import your um, important uh, data from your drawing which you want to add in your 
add in a project or any other thing okay you can also link the data if you want the external data link you you can see that in the excel data link but in my new next tutorial i will show you how to enter data link name because uh, data link is uh, useful when you want to a uh, backup or you want to show to your clients so you can simply merge you can simply edit it or uh, anything you want in your drawings or in an excel file okay guys and next one is revision cloud the, I will also say the wipeout, but I will clip. I will first show you the revision cloud because revision cloud is most most important feature in in an AutoCAD and they use widely in today. So, firstly, what is an M? What is an uh, revision cloud? Revision cloud is used to revise or to show an important thing in your drawing. You will simply click that and click on simply, 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 and click on that. And you can find this at a revision cloud. You can see that this is a and you can after five by using this and you can use multi leader. Okay, one ratio one. This is selected. Simply click that and you can find that this is an uh, this is an uh, plot. You can say the plot or uh, or uh, or or important. Okay. Oh guys, the spelling important. Okay guys, you can simply make that. Again, we can choose fonts. I default have to set. Okay, guys. I choose to maybe one. Okay, simply you can see that this using cloud is used, and you can choose any color if you want to choose a layer. You can choose any layer if you want, and go to home tab and choose any color you want. Okay, simply you can choose also color. If you want to change the color, you can simply click LA and click a new layer type sample. I want to use sample. Sample. Click on green. Choose green. Nice. I simply select this and simply click on green, and you can find all as here. So you can simply use layer for that. And the next command is in an await is a wipeout. And the wipeout is used to make our a lovely object with a current background. You can simply I want to wipe pro select first point, select second point, and you can simply so this is just a copy of that object. You can see that we can make a diagonal. This is a very simple wipeout is used, and you can see that we can make make a successive diagonal in the in the drawings, and you can simply make any drawing diagonal with a use of wipeout. Okay, guys, and add a current scale. You can use a current scale. You can use by scale by clicking one ratio one depending on your plot or drawing. I will say you must to have to one ratio one because it's a default option that is very used. You can also choose scale list to list your scales and any other things. So, guys, uh, that's for all. So, guys, thanks for. Um, so guys, thanks for watching and I hope you like this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe. If you want more videos, please subscribe on my channel and I will upload every new video that every week. So guys, thanks for watching and have a nice day.